So why were you, um, why were you bodily removed from the thing? Mm -hmm. You said that you were removed from the thing. I was what? They said that you were removed from the room. Why was that? Yeah, because, um, the, um, the representatives said, basically, they were considering whether women could sue to get equal pay for equal work. That's and, Wendy Davis who was doing that one. And they turned it down. And so these three women, slick as snot and fast as could be, chained themselves to the brass rail in front of them. And um, they were really fast, but those troopers were only a foot away. And only one of the girls managed to get hers locked onto there. So they were there with no key, and she was locked to the to the thing. And so while she was standing there locked, and they were just waiting for some way to get her off of there, I said, don't feel bad, honey. We all feel the same way. And, and this guy just goes, I mean, just, and then just, I just got lifted, like, out of my chair. I just felt this, this big force go, and pulled me out of my chair like I was weighed nothing. Like I was just, just because you said and he something? Put me on my feet, and then he just was like, was like pinching my arms forward and shoving me until to the point where I stopped and I turned around and I said, "You do not have to touch me. I am moving forward, and I am, a, you know, I am behaving. I am, you know, not cussing you. I am not doing anything. I am moving forward and leaving the gallery." I said, "You do not have to touch me." And he, the only reason why he was being a nasty prick is because he was mad as, those guys were mad as hell that those girls got a chain into, into that room. I'm sure of it. That guy was so angry when those girls did that. The two troopers on either side of it who realized what those girls were doing, as soon as they realized it, their, their smokestacks went poof. How did okay? So how did one person get wrapped into it? She got hers around the thing and, and got it locked, and the other girls got theirs around but didn't get them locked. And so the because the troopers have obviously had experience with this before because they knew to get the girls away from the bar as fast as they could before they could lock themselves to the bar. And, uh... I'm impressed. So out of all the checking they did, they didn't check for chains. Or metal. Just check for water. No, they must have hidden them. They must have hidden them and hidden them well. Because they were like, they were like dog chains, like big, big dog chains. That's impressive. And they, and they, and as soon as they tabled, as soon as the guy said, no, we won't add that as an amendment, that no, women are not allowed to make as much as men. And, and I was writing to you, I was writing to you before that on my, on my iPhone that this is so nauseating, I don't think I can take much more and I need to get out of this room. Not only that, no one could leave to go to the restroom. Yeah, because you couldn't come back. Yes. And those people that stood in line for 150 years to get into the gallery, yeah. there was no chance in hell. Every single seat was taken, and they like let one per person out and one person in. How'd you get and, in And there? the only people that left were the people that were like had urine running down their face because they couldn't stop and they couldn't just, they just couldn't take it anymore okay hang on 